Hey there, quick video, uh, test base, this is Alpha 17.2, build 27, the stable release. Uh, trying a couple of things here to combat the AI changes. Really? I uh, can see here, got water, it's too deep down here. Mostly this is just a deterrent it all the way around just so it looks nice but the too deep fall should make most zombies prefer to find a better path than walking off over on the ends uh, both of the corners on this side are ramps and three by three platforms go up the center tower here is where you'd be fighting from you can see you've done some ladder shenanigans I'll show you that in a second here uh, all the pillars including the center one here are floated with first sighting. Uh, again, I don't know. I know that there's still some AI funniness about that, so that may or may not help. Paths are simple enough. Just go up to another 3x3. Three three. Then a 3x3 three three with a hallway. Each side is 5 dart traps, 5 tripwires, and electric fences. They're tripwire for each spot, and it's wired to dart traps on both sides, plus the electric fence. Did some relays over the top just for appearance's sake. So you got some simple lights. That there is bulletproof glass. Really, it could be any block. That's for spiders because they will get right here and then jump through the entire thing. They land on the last block in front of you, then they fall off. So hopefully they'll hit that and fall on the last trap instead. I don't know how effective that'll be, but find out. A lot of structural shenanigans going on here. That's all siding. It's been re uh, upgraded. Uh, that's to connect to all of this. So like this is now two blocks structurally, and like this and this makes these connect to each other structurally. So using them pretty extensively to add structure. So you got another light there. Switch is wired to relay up top. Switches are the only way to wire flat against a surface. So I do use them that way, just like these. We got a zombie had to get up. It's just a simple jump. I don't think any zombies will try to go up there. A little fighting box here. Uh, decent views, though generally I don't do that. I've built it so that you can stand about here so that cops won't see you on the way up. Nothing too special. Goes up three high. Stop spiders. I don't know yet. If this will be vultures bugging me or what, you get onto the top, jump out to the next ladder, then the top. See a little ledge here. I don't think they'll do anything with that. I did it mostly for visibility and also so you can easily get into the back sections here. Like I said, you can see relays, arrow slits, all the dart traps are loaded with 500. Have the fences. Pretty much the same on both sides. Have a light here facing that way. Eh, lighting is weird. Just trying to find ways to get some usable light out there that's not also blinding you. Like I tried spotlights and it's just it makes it way too bright. It all runs on one generator, I hope. Uh, it is full of engines. I think power draw will be okay even if every lane is firing at once and I don't think it'll happen too often. Uh, this design, sort of the hallway design like this, is definitely taken right from Grand Spartan. His base designs are awesome as always. Uh, this is just making some changes, trying to deal with the fact that they've split timers for the tantrum mode, the destroy area. Uh, the hope being that too deep water does slow zombies down, so, and then with the pillars split like that, the hope being that it will take them long enough even with the split timer that they won't tantrum down there or if they do they'll do it against the walls which you know has no structural impact base so they're free to destroy that if they want. Uh, I did in testing get some hit damage on the very bottom blocks there in front of them. There's some stuff I was doing in 17.1 to kind of deal with that that maybe I'll try again in 17.2 uh, but for now that's it. All that's really left to do is run a horde against it. See what we get. 
encumbered. It's full of garbage. Just don't care about stuff. Also, I'm like level 9 in game stages, nothing, so this won't be. That's a normal zombie. And these crossbow bolts are not terribly effective when you don't have uh, perks into it or anything. I think I set the wrong hour. There we go. So, yeah. Game stage 18. Not exactly crazy. Probably no radiator to cops or anything. Here they are. Up the ramp. Bad day to be a zombie. So the hallway design here, like I said, that is from Grand Spartan. Clearly that still works great. Uh, against normal zombies like this, should be almost none that actually make it to the fall, which does help mitigate this damage. Uh, they are set up, the, the reason I use the relays up there, instead of wiring everything off of the fences, is in case the fences break, I didn't want the dark traps to stop shooting. There you go, we did actually have one make it. It's our swing. Probably hit underneath somewhere. Didn't hit any of these blocks. Oh, I was going to say, I do have it set to 16, but my game stage is so low, it's limiting it to 7 at a time. Where is she going? She doesn't know. Yeah, see, now she hit this block. And of course, if you're helping them at all, then... And you'd want to with cops and stuff, you'd want to be a little further back. She was going. Oh. They come out on the edge and jump if you're standing on the edge. It. Okay, looks like that's it. So let's. Yeah, she hit. One of them hit all the way over there. Interesting. So a couple hits there. Clearly it's not delaying them as much as I would like for it to. That might be worth looking into. <clears throat> I did have some thoughts, perhaps, setting a roof at the third and putting down replacing barbed wire. I don't know if that works like it does on walls. <laughs> So yes, I did hear one of them tantrum over here. I think it's the one that jumped straight off the side and landed back here. So they will hit the walls. Not a huge deal. Like I said, there's no structure in the walls. They don't really care. I can beat those up all they want. Nothing hit down here, which is it's really... Be 
he's hit, he's hit, wall's not hit. So it seems to work alright for that. A little bit of damage here, that's me, I'm sure, since I was shooting a couple times. I used 52 darts, only 28 darts, 20 darts, 15, 12. So clearly something's going on with the triggering. I did use the same amount, so the tripwire part's working. Just curious why it was... I mean, I, I know the, the stuns kind of prevent the same debuff again for a little bit, but I don't know why that was not hitting them with the dark traps. So, that'd be something to look at for possible improvements. That was also me, one damage. So, there you go. Uh, just kind of a variation on Spartan's Hall of Pain. Uh, the reason I've gone up so high is they've added a new AI calculation so that if they are physically near you but the path to navigate to you is long, then they have a chance of going into the tantrum mode, you know, destroy area. Just basically attack the nearest too high block that's near them. and Which is funny because you can see videos of them breaking trees and random, you know, cactuses. and So yeah, great function. But... The, the hope here was that by going up, and I believe I'm 10 up, something like that, by going up and having the start of the navigation path very near and keeping this distance pretty short, that they would never trigger that mode. They would never be near me by being underneath me, but have to go this long route and possibly decide they didn't want to. So doing it this way, I think the distance... I mean, clearly the, the route up the ramp is longer than I am above them, but I was hoping that this would be enough so that they would never consider down there, quote-unquote, near, trigger that that uh, behavior. And it seemed to do alright with that. I mean, I, I got a little bit of block damage down there from one that fell, but none just ran down there and immediately started attacking blocks. So, something to check with the higher game stage. Uh, but as far as bases go, it's not incredibly expensive to build. I mean, I've used a lot of steel here for structural reasons, and of course, eventually in-game you'd have this section steeled anyway. Uh, but as far as the structure part, earlier game, I don't... I mean, there's... Uh, reinforced iron blocks, for example, have the same structure as a steel block, they just don't have the health. So it's one of those things, they also don't have a, a good upgrade path, because for some reason you upgrade all the way to iron, which does have the same structure as steel, but then you upgrade from iron to concrete, which has less structure, and then from concrete to steel, which makes no sense at all. So something to keep in mind, you know, if you're going to build an early game, maybe with reinforced wood for the structural parts, that it would actually be cheaper to break those blocks out one at a time and replace them with actual blocks to upgrade instead of upgrading through the block path but there you go maybe another video uh, with a higher game stage maybe more concurrent and just kind of see where we go from there it's it's interesting because this is only five and I believe uh, Spartan is doing seven and maybe there's a reason for that I mean it'd be kind of a pain in the butt now but extending this wouldn't be too terrible uh, for instance, I could actually probably add one more here. There's no real need for, for this stuff. So I could extend the, the wall layer out. Uh, this is mostly so that they don't think of this as a cheap path. You know, I don't want them coming up the stairs and deciding that it's easier to go through a wall. I don't know why they would, but you never know. Oh, how did all of our... And the fences are not too terrible. Yeah. Fences are fine. I mean, repairing these after a whole night, you probably lose some, maybe even all of them, but uh, the damage they take is not too bad because stuff just runs through. Most of the, the reflected damage is on tick, so if you 
run fences in such a way that a zombie is stuck in that fence. Like if there was a bar across here, the zombies run up and stand in the fence while fighting the, against the bar, breaking the bar. That will just wreck a fence now. Because every however many ticks it will pulse, it will do damage to the zombie, but it does more damage to itself than it does to the zombie. So if you get one big zombie in here, like a big mama, standing here getting hit by the fence, the fence will just kill itself in no time. I mean, two or three zombies and a fence will go down. But as long as they're like this, and they're allowed to just run through, you get that initial hit, they stand there for a second while the stun goes, and then they move on, then damage is not too bad. You can actually get, I mean, on a big, on a huge horde, very, very late game stage, you might lose the first couple of fences, uh, but like I said, I've done all the wiring for these through relays, so that the uh, the wire trigger is firing both of these dart traps directly, and the fence is on its own. That way, if the fence breaks, you know, the, the easier way to wire it would be to have the trip wire get power here, power this, power the fence, and then have the fence power the dart trap. But like I said, if you do that and the fence breaks, then you lose power. So I made the ugly, ugly mess to put a relay on top there. So that if the fence breaks, dart traps still work. It's also one of those things, and I thought about this when I saw Spartan's video. <clears throat> it should actually be possible to move these back one. I don't quite know if there's enough room there. But in theory, you could move everything out one and put a second layer of dart traps there so that you would have ten firing at once. That should pretty much keep anything from reaching you. Cops and barrels and radiators and everything. But again, something to try maybe at a higher game stage later on. This is just a kind of a proof of concept. And there you go.